Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about CSS borders. CSS border property are used to provide border effect for elements. Following are the properties of the border. Border style, border width, border color, border size, border shorthand version and border radius. Border style property specifies what kind of border to display. CSS provides these different types of border style values. We can use any of these values to the border style property itself. Depending upon your need, you can use any one of them. Border width property specifies the width of the four borders that is top, bottom, left and right. The width can be set using specific size in pixels, point, centimeter or by using one of the predefined values which is thin, thick or medium. The border width property can have from 1 to 4 values to it. Interestingly, if we provide only one value, that specific width will be applied to all four sides of the border. If we are providing two values, then the first value will be applied to top and bottom and the next value, that is the second value, will be applied to the left and right side of the border. If we are providing four values, then we can provide individual width to individual sides, which is in form of top, right, bottom and left. Border color, as the name suggests, is a property which is used to provide or set a specific color to the four borders. If the border color is not set, it inherits the color of the element. So whatsoever is the color of the parent element in which we are applying the border, that specific color will be applied to the border automatically. The color can be set by the name, hexadecimal value, RGB or HSL. The border color property again can have one to four values. If one value is specified, that will be for all sides. If two value is specified, that will be for top bottom and the second one will be for left right. And if four values are specified, then it is in the order of top, right, bottom and left. Border side property is used to set border style to a specific side. This helps us to provide style to individual sides. Following side names can be used like top, right, bottom and left. And to provide a specific style to a specific side, we use the name of the side in between the border style. So it is border dash side dash style. Border shorthand is actually border property itself. So this single word can be used to provide more than one properties. With the help of border property, we provide individual properties like border width, border style and border color. Out of all these three, border style is the required property. Border radius property is used to add rounded borders to an element. For example, border radius colon 5 pixels will create a rounded rectangular border. Now it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys and now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of CSS border. So now we are going to create some HTML file containing CSS where we will apply the borders. So in this folder, let me create a new file, name it as bordersintro.html and let me keep the general statement of HTML file over here. So you can clearly see I have included the HTML basic structure along with that given a title, a div with two headings h1 and h2 and two paragraphs inside the div itself. Now within the style tag, if I want to apply any border to this div, I will simply use the selector div and then I will use the border style property. With the help of border style property, we can mention the style that we want to apply. So before that, before I apply any style to it, let me quickly go live and show you the output. So you can clearly see this is the output of this file. Now, if I'm going to apply a border to this specific div, I will use border style and then I can provide any of the style. Let's suppose dotted and save. Now you can see a dotted border around this div. Now it is not required a div to apply a border. You can apply border to any specific element. Suppose if I want to apply a border, to this specific heading only. So what I will do, let me put h1 and let me again use border style 
this time let me use solid style over here and save and you can see a solid style border is there around the heading similarly if i want a border around h2 i will use h2 over here and this time let me use a style let's suppose groove and you can see a groove border around h2 this is the way you can apply a specific border around a specific element there is one more attribute which we can use which is used to specify the border width for that let me create a new file over here with name border width.html. Now to go to this specific file, you know, you can remove the current file name from the URL, press enter. And from here, you can select the other file. So this is the heading and paragraph. Let me mention the title as border width. Now, if I want to apply a border around the div, I can use div. Let me use border style solid and this time I'm going to apply border width as well. Now to border width, you can specify the width in pixels, point, centimeter, etc. Or you can directly use some predefined values as thin, medium or thick. So let me use some predefined values as thin for now and save. This is the thinnest border. Let me use medium. This is a medium size border. Let me use thick. This is a thick border. If you are not satisfied with the width of the border by these three predefined values, you can use pixels as well. For example, let me use 12 pixel. So this is how you can apply a border width to a specific border. Now, when you are applying border width, it's also very cool. Like when you are providing only one size over there in pixels, that will be applied to all the sides. But if I'm providing two values, so the first value will be applied to top and bottom and the second value will be applied to left and right side of the border. So let me use that. So 12 pixels as the first value, then a space and 8 pixels as the second value. So you will find that the top and bottom will be 12 pixel size and left and right will be of 8 pixels. So let me save this and you can see. And if it is difficult to distinguish between them, you can use thin and thick. So I'm using thick to top and bottom and thin to left and right. So you can clearly see the difference. Now, if I'm providing one value that will be applied to all sides, if I'm providing two values that will be applied to first value to top and bottom and second value to left and right. But if I want to apply all the four values separately, okay, then the order is top, right, bottom and left. So you can start from here, top, then go to the right side, right, bottom and left. So let the top be 12 pixels, let the right side be 8 pixels, let the bottom be 4 pixels and let the left side be 2 pixels. So you can easily find the difference. Now let's see how we can use border color as well. Now for that, let me create a new file over here with name border color.html. And let me provide a similar text over here. Let me go to that specific file. So I will click on back, refresh, and now I can open border color. Now, let me provide single style. Uh, let it be 8 pixels. So all sides will be of 8 pixels. It is solid. Now, if I want to provide a color over here, I can use border color. Now, we have learned what are the various ways in which you can apply color. I have explained that in one of the other video. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend you to watch that video right now. You can click on the top right corner and see that video. Now I'm using normal color names over here, but you can use hexadecimal values, HSL, RGB, whatsoever you want. So I'm sp simply specifying green. So you can see the border color changed to green. Similarly, you can provide any other color as you want. Now the same logic applies over here as well. Like if you are providing only one value, that specific color will be applied to all four sides. But if you are providing two values over here, let's suppose green and red, so definitely the first value will be applied to top and bottom and the second value will be applied to the left and right. And similarly, if you want to provide four values, you can give four different colors to all the four values. The order is same, top, right, bottom and left. So that's how we can provide a border color. Now the next thing that we will discuss is about border sides. So for that, let me create a new file over here with the name border side.html and click on back, refresh. 
click on border side now let me remove everything except for the border style now with the border side you can specify a specific style to a specific side for example if you want to provide a specific style to the top another style to right another style to bottom definitely you can do that while using this border style attribute just mention the side in between so it is border dash side dash style for example i want to provide solid to the top right now you can see there is only one border which is of solid at the top of it similarly if i want to provide border bottom style and the style let's suppose be dotted and save so you can see at the bottom it is dotted similarly if i want to provide a different style to the left i will use border left style and mention the style over here let's suppose double so you can see a double line border on the left and on the right side let's suppose i want to have ridge so right ridge so you can see ridge border is on the right so with this way you can provide a different border style to a specific side now let's try to understand border shorthand so for that i'm going to create a new file named as border shorthand.html so you can see i created this file let me go back and open border shorthand.html right now you can see this border style width and color applied over here right now for this we are using different property names and their values but with the help of shorthand border uh, property you can specify all the three properties with within just one single line for that we use border attribute so we don't need other and in this border attribute we specify different properties in an order for example the first thing that we will specify is border width let it be 8 pixels the second thing that we will specify is border style let's suppose dotted or double and the third thing we will specify is color let's suppose red and i'm saving this so right now you can see within with just one single property name you are specifying all three of them now let me try to remove size of it and save it so definitely it will go with the normal size but it will clearly understand that if you are removing the width from there definitely you are going to mention the style and the color you can also remove color still it will work but if i try to remove style and just want to give the color then it won't work similarly if i try to remove the style and just want to give the width still it won't work so style is one of the required value that you specify with the shorthand version of the border property now the last thing that is to discuss is about border radius so let me provide a width as well or uh, let me use solid instead of double and let me try to provide a width as well over here like 8 pixels now if i want to provide a radius to it i will use border radius and then after i will provide a size to this radius for example 4 pixels carefully see the corners of this border as soon as i will provide a border radius it will turn out to be a rounded rectangle rather than being a rectangle over here so let me just save this and you can see it's rounded now now let me just increase it so that you can understand the roundedness carefully now you can see the roundedness over there right so with the help of border radius you can make a rounded rectangle border now that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care